So Dean, another win on the road tonight. How did you find it? Frustrating. Uh, obviously good to get a clean sheet, good to win. We didn't give up many chances at our first half. We were much more progressive with our play and then obviously the red card happens. I actually taught the boy Widrington, who's the manager's son, was so cowardly with a challenge on Glover with an elbow on the back of the head. And then I've just seen he's just kicked all our bottles here as well. So unbelievable, I can't believe it. And, uh, and then I see him in the fourth minute, I think the referee should get hold of the game where he, he clattered Shelton from, from side on and he doesn't even have a ward him. Um, I thought the red card was a clear red card. It was a disgusting challenge. And obviously, they, listen, gamesmanship is going to come into it from their point of view. They're trying to get an entry, they're down to 10 men and they're making it difficult for us. But I thought our progressive play and our final tour play was crap. Yeah. Uh, in the I second half, whatever. Yeah. I think just speaking on the red card as well, the first half looked very dominant from our side, but yet the, the red card didn't really seem to phase them that much in the second half. Our attacking players never produced. Idris had a good performance. Uh, gloves didn't really produce a lot. Uh, Brunt never produced anything of quality, of note. Um, obviously, Bales hit the inside of the post in the fourth half. Great save by their goalkeeper, to be fair. Um, but we've come here, really. This is a tough place to come. We've come here and we've got eight players injured, so... Um, people that say injuries and all that, like, and listen, if them players weren't injured and didn't have the careers they had, they wouldn't be playing at this level. That's as simple as that. They play much higher. So that's the risk we take because that's the finances we have. So, but as a team today, as a collective, we dug deep. Keeper did well when he had to, made some good, good catches. Idris cleared a few balls away on second balls on the edge of the box. Stuff that you have to do if you're going to have success. So you're not just going to have it all your own way. And um, I just think we missed our classy, our players today, our Browns and our. Um, and our, and our Chapmans um, instead had a dead calf, and I didn't even want to play him. Um, to fair to steady, he did a double session of treatment yesterday. He had a double session of today of treatment. I didn't want to put him on. I was hoping we'd be a bit more convincing, and uh, I've had to put him on in the end. So it is what it is. Yeah, Nicky made his first start in a while tonight. You must be pleased to you know, see him back on the score sheet again, obviously two and two for him now as well. Delighted he scored. I thought his performance was terrible. His hold of play was shocking. Um, Spoke to him yesterday, showed him yesterday, walked on it yesterday, need to hold the ball up well for us against these because they leave the centre halves isolated because they want to press in midfield. They want to jump you in midfield, they're trying to sit on the on the press and um I thought they get isolated, their centre halves are centre forwards, and I just thought Nicky was manhandled by their centre half all day. Fair play to their centre half, but I thought Nicky was poor. Uh, it will say he got the goal, but I just think the other boys, the industrial players, interested really well. He was at his level. Um Nick Tavares was at his level. Um I thought so just some of the players just not at the level, not at the standard we've set ourselves. So, look, it is what it is, we've won, so that's the main thing. Nothing else matters, really. But it's my job to dissect it and break it down. But I'm not standing here being all negative. We've won 1-0, but I think we need to do better. Um, I look for Brunt in these games, and I said to him at half-time, I'm looking for you in these games to go get another two and make a three now. Go be the difference, and I didn't think he was. Saturday's man of the match. Uh, Harry Chapman wasn't involved today, what's the story with him? He's just got a tight hamstring and I cannot risk him, he's too important to us. He's the difference in the game, when we played South End, he was the difference the other day, he's the difference at Wheelstone. Just cannot risk him, you know, he came to us with two, two days to go, but he come, I think it was the tours day before Halifax, so he didn't have a full pre-season, he was training with the PFA. So I just got to, I just got to wrap him up and cut him all, he's so important to us. But if we want a Harry Chapman, <laughs> when he's in a season, well, we've got to give him three and four grand a week, and we don't pay that, so... Um, we've got him because he's out of contract. We've monitored him for a long time, probably 18 months, to see what happened with his career. And he's found himself flipping down towards, so that's the levels. Yeah, and obviously that makes it now four wins in a row heading into Saturday, so the momentum must be building now. Yeah, I just want to get the, uh, the key players back. We'll just, like I said, we'll come in. Uh, we'll have tomorrow off in Torsday. Um, I just want to, I really, yeah, I really just want to get, because realistically, I'm not happy with the performance. I'm delighted with the victory. So, sign of a good side, I suppose, as well, because it's strength and depth in our squad. Um, had to take Shelter off at half time, going roundly, giving away fouls, just so naive. And I think Shelter would have hurt him today with his late runs into the box. And stuff. Because he's booked already, he's got booked for a silly booking. I had to take him off. I had to take Glover off as well, because he was booked as well. So I just didn't want the referee to even things up. But I thought the referee set the president when he let Wibbleton just absolutely clatter in the first two minutes, clatter Shelton from side on. So if you're going to let them go, and then he gives stupid little bookings away. But all in all, look, it is what it is for Oliver. We're delighted with the victory. We move on the next. I'm delighted for our supporters. I know it's frustrating much. It's frustrating much from the side, but but we've won, and uh, we can't be too shy about that when we've won. So we'll just move on to the next. We'll be 11 games in, 24 points. Keep that momentum now. 
Yeah, just to pack up your point, I think there was someone that sort of sat around me that said, you know, in the first sort of five minutes they could see a red card coming in this game, which I think sort of explains what you just said there. Yeah, I think the management, the referees management of the game, I, I thought the fourth official was outstanding, by the way. Um, he's the most uh, best communicator we've had so far. Uh, Tom was his name. He was he was so good. He was uh, he was uh, chalking up the fouls and stuff like that. It's funny. He actually said right at the end of the half to the referee in the monitor, "That's his toward foul." It was right before half time out on the left hand side, out on their right hand side, their left. And he was and he didn't even have a chat with the lad. Three fouls on the bounce. So like, but then when Bronte miscontrols the ball and it barely goes out, and he tries to recontrol, uh, get it back in on the pitch. Uh, he gives him a book and so. I like Oliver. To be fair, I think he's a decent referee, but I don't think he's had a glorious night. I've got to be honest with you. He did well for the red card. He gave himself a little bit of time to think about it, but that was a disaster challenge. Look, we've had a lad here like, on Saturday have a really bad injury, and I do re I wish him well, uh, their captain, the left centre half. I wish, I wish him well in his recovery, he had a horrendous injury, and then you've got stuff like this going on, like people just booting people. Um, so it's cowardly, in my opinion. And Fylde made the trip, make the trip to the Hive on Saturday. How much do you know about them and what yeah. potentially they can bring? Everything. Not just Norton, they've got loads of players. Loads of quality players. Very attack minded. Both fullbacks like to fly forward. These are real attack minded. So if we play to the level we did tonight, we'll come unstuck. So we've got to get back on the horse and get to, get to our standards again. So look, we come in a tricky night and won. Fylde are a good side. Um, I don't know how they got on tonight. I don't know any of the results tonight. I've just come and seen you straight away. Um, but all in all, look, we just move on to the next game and, and we take each team. We, we, we treat them with uh, professionalism, we treat them with um, respect and uh, we just move on. But I know Foyle they're a good side, I know they're probably not in the position they want to be. And I know they've obviously got some backing with their owner up there to be fair and not, and we all know about him. But they have got other players um, that can really hurt you. I think they're a good group of players and I see them pushing up the division. Thanks for your time, Dean. Cheers.